everybody. Welcome to Fire Escape Sessions. My name's Kevin Whaley. I'm a local songwriter. Over here is my buddy Bob Masadi on drums. Yay! <laughs> and we're here tonight. We're going to play uh, some of my tunes for you. Uh, it's an honor for us to be here. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, and we're going to do a first song. It's called Mother of Contradiction. Thank you very much. Just going to check a tuning issue here, and we'll get back into our next song. Thanks again for tuning in. All our friends out there, Fire Escape Sessions, 
Okay. Wow. I worked up the thirst already. Okay, so the next scary song I'm going to do is called Malicious Book. Not yet. Not yet, young man. <laughs> uh, way back in the day when I was in Los Angeles, my band was up for doing a James Bond movie, and Rita Coolidge, all-time high, got the gig. So Google that. It's a bit of trivia for you. See what James Bond movie that was. But ever since then... <laughs> I've always wanted to do a James Bond type song where we kill with words instead of 007's bullets. So here's Malicious Book. that little James Bond stuff at the end. <laughs> Woo! Okay, next tune. Running out of options. Now let me tell you a little bit about this song. Do you, have you ever had a friend that they are completely messing up their life? They're running out of options. That's what this song's about. And I just want to say, um, it was kind of interesting. Uh, when I was writing the song, we were at a dinner party, and people were having a great conversation. So I'm grabbing pieces of paper, writing stuff down. Oh, that's good words, that's good words. So I wrote this song, but I didn't have the first um, introductory words. And so my wife, Teresa, was very proud of herself. 
she uh, came up with click, clack, what a whack. And I says, okay, I'm going to use it. And uh, so every time I sing Running Out of Options, I think of Teresa. This is fun. Thanks again. We're so glad to be here. Firescape Sessions.
We search throughout the years, spirits are down. I guess we're waiting for the next song here. Let's see. Oh, come on, man. Oh, this is where you got to say something while I'm tuning my guitar. Yeah. So listen, uh, I've been with uh, Kevin for a couple couple years now, and uh, we've uh, we started to reach critical mass, and then COVID hit, so we got we got locked back in the basement. So which isn't a bad thing because we've been doing some recording. I have to tell you one thing that inspired me about Kevin is Kevin's writing is really from the heart. Um, having lost his wife this year. Um, having lost his job, this COVID thing, um, it's really taken a toll on him uh, emotionally. He's, he's allowed his music to kind of come through and really get him to uh, a healthy place. So if he did, if he did show some, some uh, down times, it wasn't for long because he started playing music, which he thought he'd never get back to. And it worked out. Kevin's a wonderful guy. He's got the, <laughs> listen to his lyrics. I didn't even pay him to say all this stuff. Wow. Okay. It's been a pleasure playing with him. <laughs> Well, um, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Um, so as Bobby had mentioned, my wife passed away in December. Didn't want to write or play music anymore. But uh, the voice came down. So get off your ass and pick up your guitar. And my wife said, write some songs. So uh, this is my latest song. and It's called Live Forever. So have no fear. We do live forever. Because I know I've been told. So here we go.
Forever, so don't worry. Just recorded. And now we're going to do a song called Stomping. And it's about stomping your heart. A relative said, You should write a song about stomping your heart. And we're just going to get into it. Here it is. <laughs> Stop. 